The rope in this problem supports a half kilogram mass. That's a little m. The rope itself has a length of 6 meters, and we're told its weight is 29.4 newtons, so its mass, weight divided by g, equals 3 kilograms. Knowing the rope's length and its mass, we can calculate mu, its mass per unit length, finding that it's half a kilogram per meter. In parts A, B, and C, we're asked to find the tension at the bottom, middle, and top of the rope. We'll do this by first drawing free body diagrams and then applying Newton's second law. At the bottom of the rope, there are two forces acting, the weight of the hanging mass and the tension acting in the upward direction. At the middle of the rope, there are again two forces, the weight of the underlying mass, that's the mass of the hanging mass, plus half the mass of the rope, times g, and the tension at the middle acting vertically upward. At the top of the rope, the two forces are again the weight of the underlying mass, now that's the hanging mass plus the entire mass of the rope, times g, and the tension at the top acting vertically upward. With these free body diagrams, we can solve parts A, B, and C by applying sum of forces equals ma in the vertical direction, setting the accelerations to zero, and then solving for the tensions. For the point at the bottom of the rope, we find that the tension equals the weight of the hanging mass, that's 4.90 newtons, At the point in the middle of the rope, we find the tension is the weight of the underlying mass, the hanging mass, plus half the mass of the rope. That works out to 19.6 newtons. At the top of the rope, we apply Newton's second law and again see that the tension equals the weight of the underlying mass. In that case, that's the hanging mass plus the entire mass of the rope. This works out to 34.3 newtons. Let me record those results up here and erase this so we have room to solve part D. Part D asks us to calculate the wave speed at each of the three locations. The speed of a transverse wave on a string is the square root of the tension divided by mu, the mass per unit length. We know all of these values, so we just need to substitute them. At the bottom of the rope, we find the wave speed is 3.13 meters per second. At a point at the rope's middle, we find the wave speed is 6.26 meters per second, and the wave speed at the top is 8.28 meters per second. The wave speed increases as you move up the rope because the tension increases as you move in that direction.